Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a little video with Lyra here. Now she's my crested gecko and she recently turned five years old. Now today I wanted to focus on egg laying because Lyra will lay infertile eggs, usually one clutch of two eggs. She's done this twice before, both times were in September, once was in 2016 and another in 2018 and I strongly believe we'll have some more this year. So today we're going to look at five signs your crested gecko is going to lay eggs. Now these are just what I've observed from Lyra over the past few years, so that isn't tons of evidence, but if you also have egg laying crested geckos and some of these signs ring true to you, let me know below. Also I feel like these signs would be even more obvious if you had a crested gecko who was carrying fertile eggs, so a crested gecko who had been bred with. So let's look at the first sign. So the first one is looking rounder. Now for a gecko like Lyra, where she's carrying infertile eggs, I feel like it's kind of subtle, but for me as her owner, I see her every day, I notice very slight changes to her abdomen, so you can kind of see she's rounder. It might not be so noticeable to you that it is to me, uh, you'll probably notice it more on your own gecko. I will say she doesn't necessarily gain a lot of weight, but once she lays those eggs, she will probably drop about three to six grams from what I've observed. The next sign is timing. So if you're a first time crested gecko owner, you might not catch on to this yet. Um, for me, I always note down their weights and I always note down when they've laid eggs. And over time, you get to know their pattern a bit. And weirdly enough, both times she's laid eggs have both been in September. But from her behavior recently, it wouldn't surprise me if she lays the eggs in August or as I'm filming this at the end of July, there's still a few days left. She could lay them in July. So I always sort of know that the end of summer, beginning of autumn is the time she's going to be laying eggs. So August, September time. Now this may differ for your gecko, but it's good to note these things down so you can start to see a pattern in your gecko's behavior. The next sign is a change in appetite because Lyra will eat more protein than she's ever eaten before. So if you've seen my reviews on the Pangea diet, the Leap and Leeches diet, you'll know that Lyra isn't the biggest fan of diets that include insects. She absolutely loves all the fruit ones, the insects ones she can give or take. However, in the past, I'd say month or so, she's been eating all of those diets. She's had like the fig and the insect one, um, I think there's insect and fruit one, the leap and leeches, um, rachidaclus, risotto. She's been loving them all. She's even gone after crickets and potentially some of her cleanup crew. So that's a real big difference in Lyra that I notice. And the good thing is unlike leopard geckos, I haven't ever noticed Lyra go off of her food while she's carrying eggs. The next sign is a subtle one, but I find that Lyra is slightly less active. Less active the closer she gets to laying eggs. Now don't get me wrong, she'll still walk around her tank like she does at night like usual, but you won't hear or see her like leaping from one side to the other. She is more like branch to branch, casually around the wall, um, I'll find her lower to the tank a lot of the time, um, and there's a big reason why, and I'll show in the next sign. But she, she's still alert, she isn't lethargic or anything, she just, she's taking care of herself, she's not just launching herself at the wall. Now the fifth and final sign, it isn't so at all, they will be digging, they will be face planting the floor, and just digging with their face. So. <laughs> This one's super obvious. When I first saw her doing this years ago, I thought she dropped from the top of her tank, landed face down in the dirt, and I thought, oh my god, she's stuck and I need to help her out. What I have observed, though, over the years is that female crested geckos will do this, usually for a few nights before they actually lay eggs. Lyra actually did this this morning as well. This footage is from this morning. I feel they do this to find a decent, like, nesting place to lay their eggs or a laying place. I guess they don't really nest, but, um... I feel like Lyra always chooses places where there are loads of roots. You can kind of see them here. And it kind of makes sense because if they wanted to make it difficult for a predator to dig those eggs up and eat them, it would be. I mean, it's difficult for me with a spoon when I'm trying to dig them out. So she definitely chooses 
really annoying places to lay her eggs. However, she always lays them over this side of the tank, so I sort of know where to look, because her tank is pretty big. Now, I do find that once she's chosen the area, she is ready to lay her eggs, she'll dig down deep, her head will be poking out of the ground and she will lay those eggs. I have an entire video of the first time I ever found her laying a clutch of eggs. I was very excited in the video. I will link that video so you can check it out. But what I will say is if you see your gecko doing this or if you see them in the dirt and they're not struggling or anything, they're just doing their thing, do not remove them, okay? Because at first, when I first saw her doing this, I thought she was stuck. I thought there was something wrong. But no, just let them be, keep a close eye on them that they're not struggling and just let them lay their eggs in peace. It can take a while for them to do it, but just let them chill. Now, I do usually remove the eggs. However, I am tempted to leave them in the tank this time round as if they're duds, if they're infertile, like they should be, she hasn't been bred with, the cleanup crew will just get rid of them. However, there have been some reports of pathogenesis, which is where a lone female will asexually reproduce, so basically produce like a mini clone of itself without a male. Um, I've seen one or two examples of this on forums. I don't know how accurate they are. The people seem genuine, but you never know. Um, so it could happen. There's potential. I would love a mini Lyra. She's adorable. Um, so usually when I find her eggs, I do candlelight them like I would with the leopard gecko eggs to just see if they're fertile and the off chance they are. But I am always curious to know how well the eggs would do in a tank since a female spends so much time trying to find the perfect spot to lay them. Now obviously you wouldn't leave fertile eggs in there as once a baby's hatched there's a good chance the adult will eat them so obviously it isn't a great idea to do it um, but it's, it's, it's an interesting one. But yeah, I uh, hope these signs have helped. You'll have to let me know if there are any other ones that you've observed yourself with your geckos and if there's any signs that are less subtle when your gecko is carrying fertile eggs. I've seen some really big females when they're carrying eggs. I don't think Lyra quite matches up, um, but I know that can be a lot more obvious. From what I can tell you, because I got Lyra from a previous owner, she laid her first clutch when she was two years old, because I know some people are gonna comment on this saying, you know, when shall I expect eggs? When the crested gecko start laying eggs? Or I've had a crested gecko for years and she hasn't laid eggs. I mean, that's all fine. I do have a ridiculous amount of eggs being laid in this room and I don't know why. Um, so if your crested gecko doesn't lay eggs, fine. One thing I will say is if you only have like paper towel or something for the substrate and your gecko's never laying eggs, be aware that if they don't have a place where they can lay those eggs, they can get egg bound. So even if you don't want to use all loose substrate, at least have a laying box out because the females will like a little dig they need to lay their eggs but yeah i hope this video has helped if you haven't already please subscribe but thank you for watching guys and goodbye Iron. Oh, <laughs>